Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you something that just really butters my bread. It's it's something that you're not really supposed to be able to do, which is transfer music from an old iPod onto your Samsung Galaxy device. Now, when you think about it, when Apple made the iPod, it was meant to basically import music from your computer to your iPod to listen to music through the headphone jack. It was not meant to plug this thing over into your computer, add 8,000 songs to it, and use it as a portable storage device or a flash drive to be able to export all of those 8,000 songs to your neighbor's house. That was not the way it was meant to be, and it's not the way it was set up. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can transfer music from an old iPod to your Samsung Galaxy device, and you'd be able to take it one step further, and you can plug in your Samsung phone once that music is transferred, and plug this thing over into your newest laptop or computer you have today, which is a pretty big deal because if you still have one of these things that's probably collecting dust or in a drawer somewhere that you have to charge back up and old and it holds old music from two or three computers or laptops ago now you're actually able to put it onto your newest device or computer. So all you really have to have is that old iPod, the cable that came with that iPod, and then your Samsung Galaxy device. In this video, this one is the Galaxy S9 Plus. You can have it with really any Samsung phone, if it's even the Galaxy S7, S8, Note 8, or whatever it may be. And you also wanna have that OTG adapter that came inside the box, which is that little adapter that has the USB Type-C or micro USB, and then it has regular USB on this side. So if you're wondering what exactly you're able to use this for, this is gonna be one of those instances. Now, if you don't have this adapter or if you lost it, you are able to go onto Amazon and really purchase any other OTG adapter that goes from whatever your plug is, which this one is the USB type C over into USB. I will place this link below the video inside the description because I do highly suggest using Tech C because this one in particular does have USB 3.0 that has a faster transfer. Now, for the sake of this video, I will be using that one that comes with the Samsung Galaxy devices because more than likely you guys have this one. And all you want to do is just plug in that little uh, cable onto the USB side of the OTG adapter. You're going to plug it into your phone and then you're going to plug this one over into the iPod. Now, originally, a lot of the stores or any place you go, um, this is really set up for Samsung Smart Switch. So this is just a different way of using that adapter. Now, you might have a little bit of a pop up at some point when you initially set this up or plug it in asking for permission to plug it into a computer because the iPod thinks the S9 Plus is a computer. Now, once this thing is plugged in, all you really have to do is head over into your Samsung folder and then click on my files. Underneath my files, you're going to see the options where it says internal storage, SD card, and the USB storage one. Now, internal storage is your phone itself. SD card is if you have an SD card in there. USB storage one is the iPod. Now, once you head over into this folder or this screen, you're going to click on iPod control. And then after that, you're going to click on music. Now, once you're inside of this music folder, you're going to see that there's a whole bunch of different condensed file names or folder names. The F00 just stands for folder zero. This one's folder zero one, folder two, folder three, and so on and so forth. And each folder will show you how many items or music files is inside of each folder. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go to just folder 25 just for fun. Um, and again, here is those condensed file names, which is a way to save storage on the iPod. Now, when you do transfer this over, you will actually have the album artwork, the album title, um, the artist, whoever it is, or even the title of anything. So anything that is stored on your iPod, if it shows the album artwork, title, artist, everything else, that will also move over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change and move over a couple of these different files. And really all I did for that was I press and held on any of these little folders or files. And then basically I'm going to tap on some of these and let's transfer over let's kind of move over 10 different songs. Now, the only downside to this is that you don't know what you are transferring over, but as long as you go through each folder and you transfer it all, that's how you can transfer all of your music. Now, I have highlighted 10 songs, but first let me show you how many songs I have initially on this phone. Now, if you head over into my Samsung Music and I go underneath my tracks, you can see that there's about 13 songs. So this is definitely not more than 20. And even if I go over into playlist, the recently played is 13 tracks. Um, and so again, if I head over to tracks, you can see that there's only thir or, uh, 13 of them and definitely not over 20. Now you might be asking yourself one more thing here. Hey, Jimmy, I don't have Samsung Music. How'd you get that application? You know, I'm using the, the Google Play Music. Head over into your app tray. On the very top right-hand side, you have those three little dots. This is where you have Galaxy Essentials. And underneath Galaxy Essentials on the very top, just search for Samsung Music or search for Samsung, hit install, 
and there you go. Once you have it installed, you'll be able to open it. And this is how I use um, any pre-installed music that is on my Samsung phones is Samsung Music. And again, there's only 13 songs. So let's head over into where we were just previously. So if you remember, we went over into uh, the iPod control and then uh, we went into music and then I went into really any folder and I selected 10 songs. So this is where I'm gonna be doing the copy option. Once you do copy, I will move it to my internal storage and with the internal storage, I'm gonna move it over into music. And you can see here how there's 11 items inside of music. And before when I said there was 13, you gotta remember that there is the pre-installed um, little ringtone that Samsung has. So I'm gonna put it inside of this music folder and hit on done. And so now it is transferring all of those 10 songs. So now if I wanted to, I can head over into, again, my Samsung Music. And you can see here that some of those just recently added. And you can see that there's definitely more than the 13 with that small little scroll that I had. Underneath Playlist, I can go over here and I can see what is recently added. And you can see that there was more songs from before where this Hold On, We're Going Home uh, was one that was towards the very top. So now I have all of these ones here. And you can see that I've got the album artwork. I've also got the title and I got the artist. So now if you wanted to see everything in just one big smooth motion, I'm gonna go through it just one more time. So then you can see it because I kind of went back and forth between a couple different apps. So now let's move over and do it from the scratch. So we're gonna head up, we're gonna move over into the My Files, and then underneath My Files, once you're inside of there, you're gonna see this screen. This is where you do that USB storage one. You're gonna click on iPod Control, then you're gonna click on music. And then now let's move over into a different folder. Let's go to folder 50. And underneath here, I'm gonna move over some of these songs right over here. And let's move um, a couple more. So let's do, let's do maybe uh, 10 more songs. So here is 10 more songs that was selected on the very top. I'm gonna to click on copy. And then I'm gonna to go to internal storage. And then one more time, I'm gonna head over into music. And now you can see that there's 21 songs when previously it said 11. So once I click on this one and I hit on done, now it's gonna transfer all the songs one more time. And then all those musics will now be sitting on this device, which again, I can even transfer over onto my watch even if I wanted to. So now we're gonna head over into Samsung Music and let's go over into recently added. And then now you're gonna see that there is more of those album artworks and more songs that is still also sitting there. And again, if we head over into tracks, you can see how there is much, much more. Now, the nice thing that I like about this one here too, is that even if you purchased or downloaded music, all of that will come over. So if you had an old iTunes account and you bought music or you bought a full album, that will move over as well. So that M4A will move over, MP3s will move over, and everything else. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. If you have not subscribed already and to get more tips and tricks like this, make sure you guys go over here, hit on subscribe, and also hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the other videos that I do. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I will see you guys later.